compression set is one of the key values listed on any elastomer material datasheet for an oil and gas application. But what is compression set? How is it caused? And what can be done to avoid it? Compression set is the amount of deformation that has occurred, quantified as a percentage loss in shape compared to the original dimensions. An elastomer O-ring, which has been affected by compression set, will be unable to recover its original circular cross-section, even after the removal of the deforming strain. Let's see this effect in action. Here we see the O-ring placed into a groove. The deforming strain is applied by compressing the O-ring for an extended period. The deforming strain is removed from the O-ring, but we can see from the cross-section that the O-ring has taken a set. Visually, an O-ring which has taken a set would appear less circular in cross-section, potentially with a flattened top and bottom surface after being forced to take the shape of the groove. Compression set is a laboratory test measuring the amount of recovery in an elastomer after compressive force is removed. The ASTM D395 and ISO 815 industry standards define how this compression set is measured. The test method involves the application of a 25% deflection, compressing the sample to 25% of its original size to button specimens secured in a jig apparatus. This force is applied for a given time at a set temperature. The elastomer button sample is removed from the jig apparatus and after 30 minutes, the height is measured. After the measurements have been taken, we use this formula to calculate compression set. Complete recovery is 0% compression set. 100% would show that the sample had not recovered at all. The lower the compression set value, the more recovery, the better the result. Let's have a look at a worked example. Here, a 2.62mm cross-section seal, TI, is compressed to fix a dimension of 2.09mm, TC. When it has been removed, the cross-section measures 2.51mm. TR. When we add these values into the compression set formula, we get a value of 20.75%. It is important to remember that elastomer button samples are used in these tests. Repeating the test with the same material but in an O-ring profile will likely produce different values for compression set. But why does compression set matter? Compression set provides an indication of how long a seal can be expected to perform. If the compression set in a material is high, the seal is likely to flatten sooner, exerting a lower sealing force. In time, this could lead to leakage through the seal. Conversely, a seal made from a low compression set material is considered more resilient, delivering better sealing performance for longer. Compression set has two major contributing factors. Degradation of the polymer network and physical deformation. Physical deformation is due to the viscoelastic nature of elastomer materials and is reversible. Polymer degradation, on the other hand, whether chemical or thermal, is permanent. Looking at a molecular level, we can see the crosslinks in the elastomer. How these crosslinks behave dictates whether eventual recovery of the elastomer is possible. Let's first look at permanent compression set. In permanent compression set, the elastomer sample is compressed under heat and media to the point where crosslink bonds can break and reform in the compressed state, or completely new crosslinks can form. This is unrecoverable compression set, leading to permanent reduced sealing force and sealing efficiency. There is also cold set compression set, where elastomeric recovery is possible. With cold set, when the elastomer is compressed,
the polymer chains and crosslinks slide and move past each other rather than breaking and reforming. If the temperature is too cold, the energy required for the molecules to move back to their original shape isn't there and the elastomer will freeze in a cold set. If and when the temperature rises again, heat energy is returned to the system and the molecules are now able to reform, making elastomer recovery possible. Seal failure due to compression set can have huge financial and reputational cost to operators. To avoid compression set, making the correct choice of elastomer sealing material is crucial. This decision is based on a range of factors, including the type of application and the length of time the seal can expect to be compressed in that application. Then there are environmental variables, including the temperatures the seals will encounter, the impact of any chemical media around the seal, and the pressures involved in the application. Let's recap what we've learned. The compression set of a material is the permanent deformation remaining after removal of a force that was applied to it. Compression set is measured by the amount of recovery in an elastomeric sample following the removal of a strain under a given time and set temperature. We measure compression set to learn how an elastomeric material will react and recover under strain. This predictive data guides the correct material choice for seals across all kinds of critical oil and gas applications. You can discover more about this topic with our video on compression stress relaxation.